Hi, I'm Terry from Lake Eacham in Far North Queensland. I'm a fish biologist. To do my job, I need a vehicle that's reliable, capable of towing a boat and getting me to where I need to be and getting me home. The ultimate goal after we cross the river is to get the next 30 or 40 kilometres of station track to uh, Barramundi Lagoon and uh, conduct a full fish survey there. About four years ago we couldn't get there. Given that I've got a ranger for the ranger challenge, I figured what better excuse than to try again. Towing a boat is like towing a big anchor, and so often we'll just get bogged and uh, make sure we bog somewhere where it's possible to winch a vehicle out. With well, the ranger this time we don't have a winch. <laughs> The landowner here told us we are unlikely to make it across the river. They haven't put a vehicle across here for two years. The crossing was my biggest fear in terms of completing the challenge. If we couldn't get across the river there was another 30 kilometres of road that uh, we couldn't access. When we got to the centre of the river it was quite soft. The torque of the motor was amazing and just pulled us right through and straight out the other side. Any vehicle I buy has to be a family vehicle and a business vehicle and has to perform both duties as well as each other. This car is comfortable, it's quiet, I can't fault it yet. The track today that we've been on had been used in say the last 12 months, but after that we went through a gate and we couldn't even find the track. Going where? That way, that way. That way. We followed by GPS through long grass, through washouts, old riverbeds. Sometimes we just had to make our own track. After the water this morning, that was quite easy I think. Still on that track on the GPS. We're heading to the central Gulf of Carpentaria. In southern Australia, they've basically used up a lot of their water resources. There's a lot of people eyeing the north of Australia saying, look at all that water. So this is preliminary work before they're making the decisions about the future. We use a lot of the features of the car today. We used the diff lock, which I haven't had installed on a vehicle and I will definitely have on my vehicle in the future. I used the little tricky button that pulls the mirrors in. I thought that was pretty cool. The traction control, ABS brakes, a couple of times today we had to jump on the skids very quickly when there was a washout unseen in long grass and uh, yeah we pulled up in time with that too.